Why don't we walk inside the building and take a look at some of our research laboratories? Basically, our department uh, occupies uh, one half of this building on all three floors. Uh, the first floor uh, has laboratories, uh, teaching labs, and uh, graduate student offices. The second and third floors also have research and teaching labs, and uh, most of the faculty offices are on the second and third floor. I'm going to start by going into my own research lab and uh, showing you a little bit of the instrumentation, and I'll say a few words about my personal research, and then we'll head upstairs to look at a couple of the other research labs. We call this laboratory the Hydrology Chemistry Laboratory. A lot of my research is related to chemical interactions of uh, dissolved species with natural materials, uh, rocks, minerals, soils, and so forth. In fact, we have an experiment going right now uh, that is looking at removal of contaminants from water using natural zeolites. These uh, tubes are packed with ground zeolite that comes from a mine about 100 miles south of Socorro. And the uh, researcher who's working on the project right now is just saturating these uh, zeolite columns with water. Uh, and then later on we'll be uh, pumping a uh, solution of uh, organic contaminants through to see how they interact with the zeolite. And basically we're looking at applications of this material for cleaning up polluted groundwater and also uh, wastewater from oil and natural gas production. So you can see the lab is pretty well equipped. Um, we have pumps, uh, samplers over here against this wall. We have a high purity water system for making our analytical standards and so forth. And let's go into the adjoining lab where we have our analytical equipment. This is the uh, lab where my uh, students do most of the chemical analysis related to their research projects. Again, I have undergraduates working in here along with graduate students and postdoctoral associates. Along this wall, we have uh, several different high performance liquid chromatography setups. Uh, again, primarily for measuring inorganic and organic water contaminants. And we look at, um, again, primarily ways to remove those contaminants from water. And we use these instruments to measure the uh, concentrations of those contaminants before and after exposure to the uh, absorbing material. And then over on the opposite wall are our gas chromatography instruments. And we use these uh, for analyzing volatile chemicals such as gasoline components, uh, chlorinated solids. Again, things we're concerned about is water pollutants. Uh, and uh, this instrumentation is specialized for measuring those types of volatile uh, environmental contaminants. Everything's connected to a computer data acquisition system, so the output from the instruments all is fed into the computer where then we can do uh, for further analysis of the data. This is just one example of uh, analytical chemistry facilities that we have here in the department. And as I mentioned earlier, we have um, other facilities for chemical analysis at different points on campus. If we don't have all the capability in here, we have instruments in the chemistry department and in the New Mexico Bureau of Geology that we have access to uh, for perhaps some more specialized analysis. We're going to stop first at uh, the stable isotope lab of Dr. Andrew Campbell. He's one of the geology professors in the department. And, uh, he uses his instrumentation to uh, study a wide variety of processes that we can better understand by looking at uh, distribution of stable isotopes. So uh, this is uh, Dr. Campbell's stable isotope um, mass spectrometer. It's only a few years old, uh, state-of-the-art equipment. And again, uh, he has a number of both graduate and graduate students working using this instrument on various research projects and also teaches a class specifically uh, to train students on how to use this uh, very versatile instrumentation for uh, water and uh, mineral analysis. Andy will tell you more about his laboratory setup and the types of projects that he uses this instrumentation. Well now I'll walk down the hall to the laboratory of Dr. Bill McIntosh. He has one of only uh, maybe a half dozen in the world 
specialized instruments for measuring argon-argon isotope ratios for rock dating. This is the argon-argon dating lab, as you can see. Uh, it's a plumbing nightmare, but it all works uh, most of the time. And it's used again primarily for uh, sophisticated uh, dating of rock samples. Um, this instrumentation is set up so that it can be operated remotely from anywhere in the world with the proper computer connection. And uh, in fact, samples are sent here from all over the world for the, because again, this is one of the few such facilities uh, worldwide that has this capability. Uh, most of this instrument was assembled here at Principal Tech by Dr. McIntosh and his associates, and they are recognized uh, world leaders in the um, development and application of this instrumentation. Here. 